the previous video, we used brush-based tools to clean up the images. Now let's have a look at a different set of tools that can perform these operations semi-automatically. So first of all, let's look at the patch tool. The keyboard shortcuts for the patch tool is J. It is grouped together with the spot healing brush and the healing brush on the tools panel. So the way that this tool works is that you make a selection of the area that you want to patch and then you click, hold and drag to find the patch to fill it. So again, if I want to take this boat out, I do this. So all the little bits I can very quickly remove. Like this. If I want to take this boat out, I select it. So I leave a little bit of space around it, and then I find a patch. Like this. Notice that you have some options on the top. So once you release the, 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 the mouse button, you can actually change the structure and color settings. So these control how much blending happens between the, the original area and the patch that you are trying to apply. So for example, if you bring the structure down like this, Photoshop is going to try to blend the original area with the patch that you're bringing in. So this works now, although sometimes you may find that there is some smudging happening along the edges. I find that for most part, keeping this high works best so that you preserve all, all the texture of, of the patch that you are trying to bring in. And similarly, with color, if you take this up too much, then Photoshop is somehow trying to blend the color of the original image with the patch, and this can very often give you these undesirable color shifts. So again, I find that for most part, this setting works best for me. Uh, you also have another method. So you have the normal mode for the patch tool and you have the content aware mode. This is a, a newer one, so you'll probably want to use this one most of the time. Again, I have I had a little bit of a dust on the sensor here, so I can just select it like this, find the patch and release like this. So this way you can retouch images very, very quickly. Okay, let's have a look at another example. So if I zoom in like this, and then again press J to use the patch tool, and then press and hold the Alt key to select with a polygonal lasso, like this. Again, I'm going to leave a little bit of space around the subject or the object that I'm trying to remove, then click hold and find the patch for it. So I'm now trying to blend in the pavement and the, um, and the flowers above it like this. Oops, I accidentally moved my mouse. So let me try this again. So like this. I release, and then I could again try to play around with these settings to, to control how much blending happens between these two areas. I think actually that this this works best. I can then press Command D to deselect 
And then if I'm not happy with any of these bits, I can use the stamp tool and maybe clone some of these areas manually, like this. Like that. Okay, so let's have a look at another example. If I zoom in, and this time I'm going to use the lasso tool, and I will make a selection of this plant that I want to remove. So I, again, I'm going to leave a little bit of space around it, and all these bits like this. Now, an, another way of doing this would be to go to Edit and then Fill. Or a shortcut, there are two shortcuts. One is Shift and F5 that you can press, or you can press Shift and Backspace or Delete key. Okay, so for Contents, you choose Content Aware, and then under Options, you can choose the color adaptation, so you can try this first, click OK. And this does a good job, except that this sometimes leaves a little bit of color cast in places. I think I can see a little bit of green here, and this is the green from the plant that was mixed with the patch that Photoshop created. So if I undo this, again press Command Backspace, Turn the color adaptation off, click OK. OK, now I think I get a slightly better result because there is no green color cast in this patch. I can click Command D to undo. I think that for most part I'm happy with this. This looks OK. So what we could do if we were trying to clean up these steps to remove all these little imperfections. Again, with the lasso tool, you make a selection, you press Shift, Backspace, Enter, and then very quickly you remove, remove this spot or this blemish, or you just even it out like this. like that. And another important point is that I'm keeping the feathering quite low. It's set to three pixels in this instance. Uh, so I'm just kind of blending in the patch very slightly around the edges. If you were to set this very high, so for example 25 pixels, like this, if you try to Take something out like this. The blurring around the edges is too great, so you're not actually taking anything out. So we'll set this to 3 pixels. Now, if I try to, to patch something that is larger, like this, This may not work because what Photoshop is doing, it's actually looking around immediate area around the selection and trying to find a patch for it. So there is another way that we could try to do this. If you right click and instead of fill, you choose content aware fill. So instead of fill, we choose Content Aware Fill, which you can also get by right clicking and then going to Content Aware Fill, like this, which gives us more control over the final results. So, for example, here under the sampling area, we, we can choose the Auto, which gives us a much better result. So, in this instance, you can see the green color on the left shows you where Photoshop is sampling from. 
So if at any point you get um, a result that you're not happy with, so let's try this one again. Okay, so what we can do is you can use the brush, set it to minus mode, to the minus mode here, and say to Photoshop, okay, please don't sample from these areas. So we don't want these dark bits like this. You don't want the pots or the flowers like this. You don't want this dark area nor this dark area. So you just want to concentrate on the top, on the tops of the steps. And now we get a, a much better result. Sometimes you can also play around with all these settings. For example, the color adaptation. Sometimes you can um, change this from default to none. You may find that it works better. I think in this case it works better. We um, can try to adjust the scale. So we are saying to Photoshop, okay, now take these samples from all these areas, but try to analyze the selection that we made and then try to scale uh, this patch to fit which again, I think in this example works really well. You can mirror the selection that you make. And tweaking these, uh, adjust these options will give you slightly different results. One problem with this tool is that it is unpredictable. So you really have to tweak it until you find something that you like. I'm happy with this. So what I can now do is I can output this either onto a new layer, which is going to make a patch of this size and paste it onto a new layer of its own. Or I could uh, duplicate the, the background layer and uh, stick a this patch onto it. So in this instance, I will choose a new layer and then click OK. And you can see that the new layer has been created. So this is what I ended up with. OK, let's have a look at another example. So again, I'm going to use the lasso tool to select this sign. like this and then i'm going to right click and go to content aware fill in this instance so this is the rectangular uh, mode if i go to auto i think this one works much better you'll actually find that auto works really good most of the time Try to scale this and again play around with the settings until you get something that you like. Okay, I think I'll go with this one. And then again, I'm going to output this to a new layer. And then I can press Command T to transform, right click click on distort and maybe just adjust this adjust this patch until it blends in uh, a little bit better even like this, double click, and this select. Another thing that I could do now is to make a mask on this layer, and then take a brush tool, and then paint with black into the areas that I want to hide. So this is too much, but maybe these bits I can, I can take away.
maybe with a smaller brush. Maybe like this. And let's have a look at another example. So I'm going to take the lasso tool again and make a selection. Like this. Right click and go to Content Aware Fill. And I'm going to try to find the best I think this already looks very good. Like this. But in this instance, I'm going to output this onto a duplicate layer. like this, which is going to make it easier for me. So if I com press Command D to deselect and then use the patch tool again, so J, it will make it easier for me to tidy up these little bits where the um, transitions are not quite as smooth as I would like them to be. Like this, for example. So this is the before and after. Mm -hmm.